Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of a video on something new to me, but is actually quite old, I believe. Um, picked up this model, which you've probably seen in the thumbnail, uh, recently. It needs a bit of work, a bit of love. Um, it's the Havland Beaver. Um, not sure what scale it is, but it could be quarter scale. It's about a hundred inch wingspan, maybe a little bit more. Um, I got it off uh, a flying colleague of mine who in turn got it off another flying colleague who I've known for a good while. Um, I know this model's flown well, uh, I've just never seen it flying. Um, it flew on a Zenoa 45. Um, I happen to have one in a box underneath the bench. Um, and I don't think really it's going to take much to get this airborne. So I'll show you what we've got just now, and um, what I've been doing, and what I'm planning on doing with it. Okay, so, so you can get an overview of it. That's the fuselage. Um, removable tailplane. Tailplane's got two servos in it. Um, they all seem to work fine. Um, now, first thing I'd say is this is the Fiber Classics uh, Beaver. So it's all composite, composite fuselage, um, composite wings, composite tail, um, there's some wooden formers in it, a wooden firewall etc. Um, so I've got the tail, tailplane, this is the one it's flown with that I know about, it's got two servos in it. In the deal we also got a used tailplane with elevators and a brand new unused uncut tailplane with elevators, if the worst should happen. Um, there is, so that's a fuselage, there we've got a painted cowl and an uncut, untouched cowl. Um, there's been quite a lot of stuff I've already taken out. In here, I don't know how well you're able to see, in there, the receiver sits there and the battery sits there. And the battery is that one. It's not too old, but it was flat on a flat thing on flat day. I put it on the charger just to see what it does, but I have ordered a new battery to go in it. Um, what I'm thinking about is if I can use that one as a bench test battery instead of a flying battery. It saves it going in the bin, um, but this will have a new battery going in it. Um, I'm in the process just now of assessing what we've got, what we need. So much wiring has come out of it, um, or I've taken out of it. I'm going to replace. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is get the extension lead sorted out for the tailplane so that can go back on and be kind of permanent. Um, I've got extension leads that will bring it down to about here somewhere and then have whatever I then need to get to the receiver. Um, and that's just to save me making up extension leads. Um, the other thing I need to do is take out all this stuff. I've got a replacement switch like this but this one's in better days. I can't remember the last time I used a voltmeter. Um, so that's all been cut out. I'm not sure what that lead is yet. That might be a charge lead. But again, that's going to be coming out. All of these extension leads, they're all coming out one way or another. Um, just simply because I don't know the condition of them. And there's so many of them. I mean, one of them has been epoxied together. Um, I don't know if that was a safety feature or something. but um, So these are all coming out. I have, in the process of doing this, found a little bit of damage, but again, it's nothing major. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. This fo like former here is loose. Try and get the camera in there. You can probably see that move in there. So I just need a spot of glue. It's the same the other end as well. Um, all the servos work. Um, we've got a rudder servo and a tailwheel servo. They all work fine. Um, throttle servo down there seems to work fine. So that is just about everything stripped out. Um, even that was in it. Now I can't actually remember the last time I flew 35 meg. But I know, I know at the time that was a pretty decent receiver. Um, so that's all come out. There is this panel. Fits in that sort of position behind the firewall that takes the tank and then behind that is that panel 
that's basically just to cover all the radio and everything and then once that's all in that panel can go back in um, there are some seats and things that came with it and uh, not sure not sure who that pilot's re meant to represent but he looks kind of drunk so the seats can all go back in and they've got top hatch as well um, so that's oh in there is the wings i haven't actually tested the servos and the wings yet but they should be fine um if not i'll just change them out one of the things on this is that it's a um i don't know what the technical term for it is the struts are fully functional um so they're all bolted onto aluminium cross beams that go across the fuselage and they bolt into hard points in the wing so yeah that's just an introduction to this pro little project um it shouldn't take much to get it going. The things that I know of just now that I need to get are um, possibly a, a carb bend for the engine because I don't think mine's got one fitted and I know it did have one fitted in here. Um, what else? Battery's coming, I've got a receiver. Like I said it shouldn't take much to get it up and running. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of work on it just now and see where we get to. So I don't know how much of that you could actually see what I was doing. Um, <clears throat> but in that time lapse, um, we've got the tailplane connected up to the tailplane servos connected up to it, their extension leads, and they're dropped in to the back end of the fuselage. Um, the leads have come to what I'm going to call the receiver area. I've had to put a couple more extension leads on to get them to where I need to get them to. Um, I've pulled out the old switch, which. Uh, end up like this so I don't know how good that switch was but it's on its last legs anyway um, so that's for the bin um, the battery which was in it is actually seemingly performing all right it's on a five cycle charge discharge cycle just to see what it does as I said I have got a new battery coming um, but that one seems to be coming up all right um, what else have we done? Taking all the extension leads out. So the, the tailplane is in and bolted in. Elevators seem to be alright. One of the servers is a little bit notchy on its like extreme down position. I'm wondering if the servo's just got a bit of dirt on the pot. Um, so it just needs the exercising. Rudders are all working. Tailwheels are all working. Um, Tailwheels has got its own separate servo. Um, a new replacement switch is in. Throttle servos checked, that all works, and I've done a bit more down the front here, which I'll show you. Okay, so the engine is now bolted on. This is an OR45 uh, Magneto engine. Um, I had to mess around with the different um, sizes of mounts and prop drivers to get the right length for the cowl so it sits in the right place, um, but that's now all done. Um, there's a little bit of clearance on the prop driver out the front. The cowling comes to sort of somewhere there. Um, so that's all good. Now, you might be able to see there's no carb on this just now. Um, I'm trying to find out if the carb bend I've got will actually bolt straight onto this. Um, because the engine that came out I know did have a carb bend on it. Um, so it fitted neatly up into this hole out of the way. Um, I have got a carb bend on that engine. That's a 62, so if that can be unbolted and bolt straight on, we're, uh, we're onto a winner. Um, which would be good. But I need to find out if that can be done. Um, I'm needing to make a phone call to, to uh, a chap to tell me if that's possible. I, I can't see any reason why it's not, but I just want to make sure that it can be done. The engine is not going to be affected by it. 
Um, and then once that's bolted on, um, I'm waiting on some Tigon fuel tubing coming to replumb it all. And that will be almost the fuselage done once the, the carb's on. Um, I won't be fully fitting the cowl until I can run it up and just check everything. And then after that, I'll be looking at the wings. Um, again, there's nothing obviously wrong with them damage wise or anything like that. They just need to be checked out for um, servos operating and just fully rig it and have it outside and just check it all out. So I think I'll end this video just now and come back to you once I've got a bit more progress done on it. Um, if you're liking this sort of video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe. It's a great help to the channel. Um, but until next time, I'll catch you later.